OpenAI recently launched deep research to rave reviews, and now Perplexity is coming in with their own version of the product at a much cheaper price point. OpenAI's deep research is one of the more exciting products that many people have gotten recently. In fact, if you go on Twitter or X, you can find people saying it's the most impressive product they've seen in years. It is, however, behind an extremely expensive paywall. Right now, the only people who have access to deep research are those who are paying for OpenAI's $200 Pro tier. And then in comes Perplexity with their own version of deep research, with the same name, in fact, suggesting that they're trying to make this just a category of AI usage like Chatbot, and it absolutely obliterates the OpenAI price point. Free users have five queries per day, while pro users get up to 500 daily queries and have access to faster speeds. When asked how the company could offer this tool at this price, CEO Aravan Srinivas said, Thankful for open source, we're going to keep making this faster and cheaper. Knowledge should be universally accessible and useful, not kept behind obscenely expensive subscription plans that benefit the corporates, but not in the interests of humanity. So yes, if you're wondering, Sam Altman is now being shanked from below and from above, given the aggressiveness of that particular positioning. Perplexity's deep research works very similarly to how rival tools work using a combination of agentic web search and iterative reasoning to generate in-depth research reports. They share a bunch of benchmarks, but honestly, I think for this type of product, everything is about how it actually performs. And for that, you're just going to have to go check it out yourself, which thankfully you can, given that they offer even free users some number of queries each day. One user asked Perplexity to compare itself to rival deep research features, ultimately producing a multi-page analysis that summarized, Perplexity AI excels in speed and accessibility for casual researchers. OpenAI dominates in analytical depth for enterprise applications. Google integrates most seamlessly with existing productivity ecosystems, which honestly seems like a fairly decent write-up and summarization. Now, if you go cruise around the internet, you can find people who are saying that Perplexity's version of the tool is every bit as good or even better than OpenAI's. But you also have a lot of sentiment like this one from Siki Chen, who writes, until you have access to full O3 or Claude 4 or something, you simply are not going to build a better deep research than OpenAI. This is a use case where the raw model reasoning capability matters a lot. Still, from a consumer perspective, obviously more options is a good thing. And so glad to see some competition in this space. Next up, an update on Ilya Sutskever, the former OpenAI co-founder, who is back out fundraising for his new company, Safe Superintelligence. Previous reports had Ilya raising about a billion dollars at a $20 billion valuation, and it seems like that is now up to a $30 billion plus valuation. Bloomberg reports that Green Oaks Capital Partners will lead the round and plans to invest about half of it. And we still have no idea whether the valuation update from the original $5 billion reflects something new that Ilya has shown investors, or is just the premium that the market feels it has to pay for any Ilya product. Now, while the startups like Perplexity race ahead, don't expect the next generation of AI-enabled home assistants anytime soon, as the big tech companies are struggling. Both Alexa and Siri have hit another round of delays. People got excited recently when it was reported that there was an Alexa AI event. But at a last-minute go-no-go meeting last week, apparently Amazon's executives decided that no-go was the answer. And the Washington Post is now reporting that AI Alexa won't be ready until March 31st or later. The delay is reportedly due to Alexa giving inaccurate answers, which has been the scourge of this development cycle. Apple's AI Siri upgrade is also facing delays after plans were first unveiled all the way back last June at WWDC. Bloomberg reports that the project is facing engineering problems and software bugs, and that while Apple is, quote, racing to the finish line, some features planned for an April rollout may be delayed until May or even later. One of the things that this highlights is that the margin of error and consumer forgiveness for AI hallucinations and incorrect answers when it comes to these sort of smart home devices is basically zero. And the risk of finding yourself on the wrong end of some viral clip on social media is really high, making these particular product rollouts a real challenge. Lastly today, Meta is apparently planning a big investment in humanoid robots. The company will establish a new team within their Reality Labs hardware division, which is the group that has released the Meta Ray-Bans and the Meta Quest. The new plan is to develop Meta's hardware for humanoid robots designed to complete household tasks, initially focusing on developing sensors to be used by third-party startups. In an internal leaked memo, Meta CTO Andrew Bosworth said, The core technology we've already invested in and built across reality labs and AI are complementary to developing the advancements needed for robotics. We believe that expanding our portfolio to invest in this field will only accrue value to Meta AI and our mixed and augmented reality programs. I think we're still a little premature, but you are going to see a lot more of the intersection of robotics and AI this year and in the years to come. For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition. Next up, the main episode.